buddy Gary Claire. It's here today. We're going to be messing around with a couple karaoke machines with CRT displays on them. I have one of them that's very old and used. And this one right here, well, that's brand new in the box. <laughs> so today we're going to be having a little fun with these, and it's definitely not going to be karaoke, although I might try to plug a microphone into these. Actually, oh, <laughs> I dumped it out of the box and I broke it already. There's our microphone that comes with the brand new karaoke machine. <laughs> Crank it. <laughs> I haven't broken one of these screens in a while. That should be fun. Wow, look at the size of the balance knob on this thing. Left and right. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> as soon as I plugged this one in, I heard... <laughs> oh, and it's not even powered on right now. Oh, it was on. It's just really weak. Audio logic. Still has the old Walmart tag on it. So there's no way to get these going without one of the CDs or a tape. That's kind of cheesy. I remember I had one of these when I was a kid and it had a radio on it and stuff. And a line input as well. I don't think this even has a line input. Yeah, you can't plug anything into either of these. It's CD tape or nothing. Let's see if this microphone still works. <laughs> oh, I wonder if it's going to fit. Nice, we got some echo. I'll try this one. Check, check. I think this microphone's destroyed. Yeah. <laughs> I think these are one of the ones with a little surprise inside, actually. Let me get rid of my good wire. These are actually one of the classic Chinese microphones that are filled with concrete. Not for any actual purpose, but just to make them not feel so cheap. Oh, I lost a little something something here. Piece of trim. <laughs> I don't know why I thought I was beat. I seriously have cases and cases of microphones here. Hello, hello, hello. Check, check, check. Yeah, 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 there we go. Ladies and gentlemen. Ah, you can really hear it bottoming out. Turn the echo off. Check, 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 check. Believe me, it's not the microphone distorting. This is an SM58. You can scream into these things. Hey, everybody. Garrett Claridge here. Oh, my God. Why do they sell this shit? <laughs> Yeah, the screen on this one is so dim that, oh wait, there's a, uh, oh there we go. There's like the old school controls on the back where you have to turn the knob. <laughs> Let's just take a moment to appreciate the amount of interference off this CRT TV. Noise. Thankfully I was given a karaoke CD with these things. Unfortunately, it's Donna Lewis. I love you always and forever. <laughs> I'm not going to play it. Definitely not. I'm going to get all the YouTube crap happening if I even play a second of that, probably. But let's see if this thing even works. <laughs> I'm going to hold it down. Oh, that's probably a bad idea, isn't it? That's where the CRT is. <laughs> My screwdriver went right through this thing. I'm trying to hit this uh, little sensor in here. I can't get this one to think that it has the cover on it. It's obviously messed right up. Let's see if this one works. 
It better work, it's brand new. <laughs> Have I forgotten how to work a CD player? It is honestly weirding me out. Either this doesn't work, or... Well, I know the CD works. I tested it out in a car. <laughs> it was horrible. What the... See, it is going. A little bit. Okay, I got it working. <laughs> you know, I think this is just a regular CD. The woofer is labeled SD 10 watts, 8 ohms. Wow. So we don't need any of the CD player parts anymore. Holy shit guys, that thing absolutely imploded, like it blew everywhere. It pretty much didn't even blow out the front, it all shot to this back wall and all over the desk and stuff. And uh, yeah, uh. <laughs> yeah, it was like a grenade went off, there's like shrapnel marks everywhere. <laughs> and we're back. After two hours of vacuuming this place, there was glass everywhere. I had to go get a coffee and take a break, so I guess it's time to mess around with our brand new machine. <laughs> All right, here we go. Let's see if we can get that CD working this time. I was having trouble with it earlier. Enough of that. <laughs> yeah, you probably noticed I put up the curtains and that's exactly why. <laughs>
Well, that sucks. I broke the screen already. It's making a noise. So here we have the whole display unit. It's all one piece. Look at that, it all just fell out in one chunk. Awesome. Anything else fun in here? Not really. Look at the speaker in this one. Jeez. Hey everybody, Garrett Claridge here. <laughs> As if that thing still works. Awesome. <laughs> Gave me a bad idea, but I'll get a patch cord for that guitar. My guitar doesn't even have volume knobs anymore. <laughs> well that was fun while it lasted the whole two seconds of it <laughs> the guitar won't release the patch cord uh oh <laughs> man I've never had to unplug a quarter inch jack like that before I hate this plastic junk. So now we have this little screen left and I'm kind of on the fence if I want to break it or not because it does look pretty darn cool. But uh, you know what? I got too much stuff on my shelf, I think. So I've used my artistic skills to make a little blast shield here out of cardboard. Let's see what this thing can do. Well, the box worked well. <laughs> All right, so now we're checking out these speaker drivers. And the amplifier I'll be using today is the Realistic MPA 25. That is a 25, no, just a 20. Sorry, <laughs> 20 watt PA amplifier. Wait a second. 12 volts, what? Cool. <laughs> so as you could probably tell, this guy is from that stupid plastic karaoke machine and this was from the wooden one. I may have actually broken this woofer when I was taking that dust cap off. I'll have to check it out. So it's our negative lead that's broken. Maybe I can just... Oh! There we go. Okay, so I'm going to do this one first. That's how you get her going. <laughs> well, that thing sucks. Ooh, 
good little zap out of that thing. For a 20 watt amp, it does pretty good. All right, let's check out this other guy. As loud as that was, that little amp ain't blowing this little speaker. Let's get the 120 volt power cord. Hey, you tried your best. All right, let's get back to classics here. There we go. Oh, that doesn't smell very nice. Copper's stuck inside. <laughs> Well, that's about all for now. If you enjoyed today's content, be sure to smash that like button, leave a comment, or subscribe to the channel for more. Thanks for watching, everybody, and have a great day.